Maybe I should try using the other bow that I have. If I can't use the uh, other one. Was this the newest one I bought? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I should probably actually give it some stuff. Modify it a little bit. Yeah, let's give it damage. And we shall give it some good tear. Just give it the good stuff. Fire seems really effective. Um... I think I'd rather just do this. Oh, what's this? Hunter arrow, fire arrow, hard point arrow. Alright, so that's gonna hit hard. Also, I can hold a lot more of these. So that's good. I like that. I don't think I actually used this yet. I think I bought it. Maybe I used it for some fire attacks when fighting some uh, glint hawks or whatever they're called. I don't think I ever actually went and used the other arrows for anything. So I don't know how good the hard points are going to be. Oh, hello. Acting as guards. Looked away for one minute. They definitely... Corrupted machines. Can you... Can you stop moving? Thank you. I was hoping that would be enough to actually kill. Alright, let's just get close. I kind of wasn't expecting to run right into them. And I was not looking at the game. For that split second that the watcher showed up. And by then it was too late for me. Hello. Oh, they're still not dead? Alright, so these do less damage. In the long run, I guess. Work still with the headshots. Oh, was that it? Oh, that was fine. I think I'm over level for this stuff, though. For, like, the main quest. Since I've been going around doing the other stuff. Let's see. What What's the, uh, recommended? Yeah, 14. So that might be part of the problem. Can you allow me to loot? Thank you. Much obliged. Music definitely died down. These that wasn't too bad. They're massive. I'm still not looking forward to seeing what was it called? A Deathbringer? Well, whatever. I don't need you. That looks climbable. Come on. Come on, who are you fooling? Ah, uh, well. Gonna go this way, I guess. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. I think I ended up killing everyone in the camp pretty good. Although I can see someone right there. Oh, come on. I was trying to lead a target. That's fine. Uh, the mug wouldn't be here, would it? Probably not. I'd imagine it's up higher, unless if that's a 
We can we can check that quickly. No, it's just a storage container. Got a bite out here. Hello. Is that a headshot or was that a head miss? That was a human kill, that's for sure. Cultist thug, dredger. Watcher, corruptor. What hit him? This guy might know what hit him though. I'm gonna try super hard to. Oh yeah, that was good. Oh, that was real good. Oh, I wonder if I should hard point. That worked out really nice. Okay. Starting to feel it now. Hmm, that's not. Quite it, but that worked out too. Uh, oh, it costs a lot more to make those. That's gonna be the problem. So I should probably save those for a special occasion. Hello. A quick way down. What is that, just... Is that like the level of the guy? Oop, another watcher. Another watcher down that way. I think I'm mostly good though. Let's head around. I kind of want to deal with everyone else before I have to worry about the corruptor. I still want to use this because I feel like I wouldn't kill with just the uh, regular. Attack. What have they been uncovering here? What's this guy doing? Can I do a death from above? Done fighting at our side. Meridian will be ours once more. How embarrassing. He was just talking about how. Uh oh. more cultists around. Where are they? A s deceased snipers. Those are what I killed, I think. Who's talking? Is it the rat? wonder how good that's gonna do. Don't see me, guy. Friends. I don't know if you can. Oh, you cannot come this way. Looks like you can come this way, though. He's coming in for the hot shots. 
Going up is not a good idea. Um, they are weak to fire, I believe. Uh oh. Ow. Okay. Good. I don't like being stuck in the corner. Where are you going? Where are you going, friend? going on with you I don't know what that other thing is that's happening is he charging something up come on look at me ah oh. oh he is he had to cool down something oh come on that was that was a good hit. Yeah, okay. He actually had a cooldown for his attacks. I think I've actually shot off most of their weapons before that ever happened. So that would have been a good strategy. But I don't like doing good strategies. I play I like playing it uh, fast, loose, and poorly. That's how I do. But where is this watcher thing gonna be? Also Okay no. I was gonna say it almost looked like I could probably have snuck past him. It's not actually a watcher I'm looking for, it's a mug. Yeah, it has to be in here, right? An explosion. There it is. Just want to make sure. Gotta drop more stuff. Yeah, don't need that. Don't really need the cooling. I don't think I've really done ice things. Okay, where are we actually going? Nothing of interest up here. Kind of feels like I'm not supposed to be up here. Another explosion. Huh. Kinda looks like a boss battle area. So nothing else. Oh, that's him screwing up my. Oh, well, I guess I know what I'm gonna end up fighting. Oh, that looks rough. All right, doesn't even tell me what that is. Cooling rods, core, flamethrower, heat vents. Ah, okay. Well, we you know what I'm going to be struggling with. Maybe I won't have to fight him. Get 
has to be one of the Deathbringers Olin talked about. Mm -hmm. I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first. My focus. It stopped working. I've disabled his focus. Oh no. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. I can't see very well. Let's uh, switch to the other thing. Um. Oh, you asshole! What? That went to his head. Okay, stealthing would have definitely been preferable. I went about this in a very poor way. Wait, I can't actually make that. Oh, he's actually... What happened to him? He's actually struggling. Switch, gotta switch. Oh, that's crafting, damn it. These menus are a bit rough. <laughs> Hitting that thing really hurt it. That really does, actually. That looks a lot better than I anticipated. Okay, those actually aren't that tough once you get it to try to cool down. Most enemies are dead too. Where you at, boy? Hi. Where you going? Did it. Those things pack a punch. Uh, right. I mean, kind of. The eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. That really wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Again, though, this is a level 14 mission. So I do feel a bit bad. But I can't imagine they expected you to really it's heavy. come to this I'm without... Without just uh, doing side quests first. I think this is the guy I'm looking for, but let us loot bodies. No space. For a lot of stuff that I can't even pick up. I would like some health, because I kind of wasted away most of mine. Go to sniper. Kill that rat. Take it to me. Oh, good. So I have that just in case if I need it. Which presumably I might end up needing. And there are more items that way. Again, banking on getting some health potions. I'd have to leave something else behind. It's fine, don't worry about it. 
Oh, well. Can I loot this guy? Look at him. Oh, he has a lot of stuff. Oh, what am I going to have to leave behind? I need that Deathbringer Horror. I'm going to take that. Because that's got to be something good. Uh, what can I drop? I can drop... What is this? Watcher Heart? Yeah. We'll drop a Watcher Heart for a Deathbringer Heart. Seems like it'd be worth more. <sighs> well, we'll just take the focus, I guess. Let's see what you have to say. What? What is this? The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 Man, Hades sucks. What the hell was that? Hades? Hey! M mysterious stranger! Let's just keep getting stranger. I need to find this the same stuff. Let's dive in. Hold for identity scan. We're actually in here. Can't go back though. Okay, well this is exciting. Dr. Sabes, you are three hundred and fifty-five thousand five hundred and ten days out of the day for your meeting with Mr. Farrell. Please proceed to the thirty-fifth floor. Wait, wait, wait. Three hundred and fifty thousand. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Not to explore. Oh, hello. I don't know if I'm gonna have to worry about machines or if I'm just looking around. Okay. A machine built to kill. Have you honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Feral leads the world in every sector of self sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Feral Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So... They made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in that Something is it. Hmm. 
There's lots to explore in here, but... Okay, I think this is it. Just gotta keep moving forward. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. Are you Ted? I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Uh Let's at least look at the one that's about Elizabeth Sobeck. Oh geez. Uh American scientist, Focus Trust Engineer, Good Scientist. Uh, did stuff with robotics, artificial intelligence, probably made the robots, or was a big part of making the robots. The age of 22 over the next eight years, her green robot designs played a vital role. Environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade. Propelling fast to the forefront of the field, she suddenly resigned. She didn't like the uh, military stuff. She found it Miriam, uh, Miriam Technologies for life positive robots. Probably like most of the ones that we see roaming. Uh, she got a lot of rewards for doing things. Who's Ted? Probably the guy who signed me, but uh, found her or the place. Blah, blah, blah. During the claw back at the end of that decade, uh, dominate the world, make automatic military platform, was made the world's best known businessman. Okay. I don't think we need to know much about Fast. They made robots. And then that's just what a corporation is. Um, all right, I don't know. I don't know what's important information to get from that, but I don't want to sit here and read through the whole thing. I feel like Aloy is probably some kind of weird clone of the doctor. Probably how she ended up uh, outside of the door had something to do with it. Retooling stuff. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across... So they were making machines? And they stopped to make other kinds of weapons. Why? That's nothing important. Another cave in. But I could get through. Some text message junk. It's not text message, it's just... You have to read it. And I ain't gonna read nothing. Oh God, <laughs> that spooked me a little bit. I got spooked. I bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Oh, lovely. Convenient. Looks like I can climb here. Uh. 
Can I climb this? I can. Merd supply crates. Got too much already. That's fine. Guess I can't drop back onto this one. Crates, okay. This room it looks like the way up. What's left of it? Okay. Oh, this is a smoke clouds. Kind of spooked here. I'll be honest. Nothing of interest this way. Can't spare the weight. A lot of supply crates, a lot of message stuff. I mean, it would, it would make sense that this is where you would find a lot of these info dump kind of things. But it's not exactly fun to pick them all up. People were angry for like them. right here. The corporation. They blame this place for something. No, it's over here already, right? Like yeah, I couldn't pick those up. Like, imagine how long you'd have to just kind of hang out here to fully immerse yourself in all of these things you picked up. Hollow projector. Oh. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. The ACA3 scarab combines conventional and infra. That's lame that you can't walk away. Alright, well, listen to this one. The FSP5 Kopesh provides a one size fits all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening. Allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. Yeah. So this was the heavy hitter. Oh, you have to really... Main battle force indeed. Damn it. I want these data points. I want to know. I don't the think I've seen this thing. Seven Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were farm machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then I, how would you ever stop them? I almost feel like that's probably what Hades is. The ACA-3 scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any scout-class autonomous agent. 
Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass convergence systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. I feel like if they're trying to sell a cool machine to investors, uh, slaving other robots isn't a good description. Oh, I guess we're going up. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I probably missed everything. Yeah, I'm guessing the one thing is probably what Hades is. Or it's just a different robot I'm gonna have to fight. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. You really aren't. If How high am I going? Way to hang on up here, guess I can too. I guess that's how I need to progress, but was there a way up this way? Oh! Not good. That was a bad fall. Oh. Well, guess we're gonna see if I can go up this way. Oh, is this progress? Um. Frost catching in my throat. Looks a bit more progressy than the other way. Shoot. Or is it the same amount of progress? Where am I? What is this? Guess we're going this way. We can always see if there's anything down there. Doesn't look like it. Okay. What are you? You seem like a big deal. Since the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Timor Energy Combine. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Look at that view. Yeah, nothing that way. Where am I going? I don't... I guess I'm going that way. I'm not a fan of this drop. Okay, I guess it's fine. I feel like a power cell is going to be in here somewhere, and I haven't actually found any more since I uh, last played. So I'm a bit worried that they're harder to come by than I anticipated. That's fine. I don't, I don't need any of those other things. Is that why I came in before? Ooh. Fine, everything's working out. Jump. Uh. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is like the same. Wait, is this the same spot? No, 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 this is different. A lot of different paths, and I'm not a fan of it.
I guess that was kind of unnecessary. No space. Who keeps rocks in a storage box? Where am I going? Probably that way. I guess not. My bad. I thought I'd be able to, like, pry my way in there. Another item. Supply crate thing. Nothing of interest this way. Well, I appreciate the uh, sleeping bag. Man, I can't even see anything now. Another supply crate. something else behind. I'm really not able to pick up much here. Okay, that looks like progress. There's a couple of open doors that aren't actually as open as I thought okay. surprised you can't force yourself in there what is going on here does this just lead all the way back down Am I wasting my time? Probably. Oh, I'm really wasting my time. I wasted my whole time going up the way I did. So I guess going up like this is the quick path, so I probably missed some fun stuff the other way. I also just noticed I clipped through that when I uh, jumped into it, so that's great. Nothing else, it looks like. Oh, Thought I was yeah. finding a secret. All it takes is a few good handholds. <sighs> yeah, good. Good couple of yellow handholds. Alright, made it. I know what we'll find. Yeah, I kind of wanted that too. What is that? Another supply crate. I'm actually unsure about what we're looking for at this point. Another supply crate. We're like actually at the top basically, huh? Can't open that yet. Well, let's see what this is. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. What am I scanning? This stinger? Oh. That looks like me. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. It's me. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. 
You screwed something up to something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So, spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another fellow has been recovered. Oh. Well, because we're scanning a lot of data. Getting that plot dump. Isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I, I... Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. I was actually going to say the same thing. I wonder what she did, though, to make it not the worst apocalypse, just a somewhat terrible one. Oh. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to US Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Really then... Oh, okay. It really didn't help that he was playing the pronoun game. That? I can't do that. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Whoa. Do you really have no idea 
How monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. It's good to talk to you. I've spent know who you are. Searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime. And what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. I kind of don't want to now. <laughs> yeah, if they're so smart, why are you a hologram? Uh... I, yeah. You're so smart. Why do you know so little after a lifetime scratching around in the dirt? It's not my fault you're bad at what you do. I came to these ruins looking for Elizabeth Sobek, not because of the things she did centuries ago, but because people are trying to kill me right now, today. I've got bigger problems to deal with than your crap. Congratulations. You just graduated from whining to throwing a temper tantrum. I'm sure Elizabeth would be proud. Screw you, man. You need to get a grip on yourself and start thinking straight. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Oh god. Um Yeah, Who what, what's are the you deal? Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal. Kind of. They're weird. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Now that's enough talking. Be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus. Risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. <laughs> Proceed. It's a good threat, Aloy. Uh, I doubt she's still alive, but is I guess I'll ask. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but. Not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Like cloning? Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. I'm still gonna say clones. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. 
Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom, with a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. That makes sense. Uh, I know the fairy robots are just what we have. He's probably gonna You've say nothing my about us. To spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Okay, I'm done. I don't need to know Elizabeth about robots. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Oh. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, Someday so... We'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. <laughs> Uh, so Horus might not actually be the well, Hades guy then. Will be a lot faster than getting up here. Yeah, I see that. Oh, jeez, look at these floors. <laughs>